Well, welcome to this tutorial how to make a portal switch to turn the portal on or off. So we, what we're going to start with is placing a button. I'm putting that block there. Placing a button. This is the items you need, by the way. You need a lot of flint and steel. You can also use stacks of fireballs, but I recommend flint and steels. You can also change the redstone torch and what block. Can we get out of here. You can also change the redstone torch and run normal block for a redstone block. I doesn't matter, but this is cheaper, so I'm just doing this in my world. So we're gonna start off with a button. If you want a button on the other side, do everything I do in it first, and it should work. Then we're gonna, we're gonna start with the button, activating this uh, repeater. After that repeater, we place a piston with another repeater, with another piston, with a block. This block is the crucial block. If we press this block, I press the button right now. You see, due to lag, it looks weird, but don't bother that. The block moves from the left side to the right side, or if you press again, from the right side to the left side. We're gonna now put two redstone torches underneath. Uh, these will get our outputs. So when the block is there, this one burns, and just for example, that turns that one on. So we're going to start with the first one. The first one, you, uh, our whetstone wire, and then one go there, and uh, this one is the one where that's filled with uh, flint and steel. If you press the button, this will get back. This get activated. Activate this dispense. So every First time you press the button, this will activate it. Every second time, we get redstone power right there. So, for let's say you want a two by three, so not like this, but like that. This is your portal two by three. You can do this simple trick, placing it like that. So now you have you get one tick it gets power but the problem is that we're gonna put water in and it will flow your own room full flow your whole room flood flat flat your whole room so what I'm doing now is make before this three ticks delay turns on this power gets into this block that's normally down into this repeater into this block Redstone and it turns on the dispenser, which will flood your room. Here you take it twice. Make sure to put in water at last because I don't like flowing my builds. Do like that. So now bring the press button, and you have a valid portal. Just remember, this is the two by three version. It activates. It also works for 3x3 as you can see and it stops the portal. I don't know why that lag spike is there. But to make it a bit nicer, the problem with this design is you have redstone right there so you cannot cover it all up. So I made a slight adjustment. I'm going to show you. So if you go back to this state where you just placing your second bit thing, place a block, you should have placed it and then like that. So it, instead of powering like putting redstone on top of that, put it next to it. On the other side, we're gonna get it out again, put it into a piston block. So now first this get activated and second one that one. So this one will we get two ticks to turn it on or off. And now it's on. And now it's off. You can cover it all up. You can put a lot of flint and steels in there if you want to. 
you can use it uh, 64 times 9 so that's a lot of times you can turn it on and off water is unlimited of course and that's the portal turning it off thank you for watching I hope you liked it bye